Hi guys and welcome back to my channel today. We are going to do a collab video and this collab is another episode in me and Paula's shopping our stash collab that we are doing this year. This year we are shopping our stash for certain colors and for this episode we are going to choose black just because it is Halloween in a minute. What better color to swatch than black? So because we have chosen black eyeshadow, we thought it would be easier for you guys and less boring at least um, if we swatched them before we sat down to film because it's black. There's not much variation of black than the pigmentation of it at least. I have 20 blacks in total, which is mind-blowing it is insane it is too much i don't use black eyeshadow that often that i can even consider buying a black eyeshadow i have even decluttered a single shadow that is black um so that is not included which i'm happy about but it's scary to think about <sighs> yeah i have 20 blacks in total 10 of them are completely black one of those are shimmers i will show you the palettes where the blacks are and then I have 10 shadows that are almost black, like a dark, dark grey. Uh, at least it looks like in the pan. Uh, and then I have a glitter that is black with some other shadow and other colors in it, you know. And then I have four shadows that has a black base with some sort of different color glitter in it. And then I have a very dark navy blue that looks black on the eyelids. And I have used that on the eyelids, so I know it's not blue. <laughs> Let me show you my arm. These are the 10 shadows that are black in my collection. And that one is the shimmer in the palette, but you can't see it. So you can see the different pigmentation in the blacks. I think the best one... That black and these four are the best um, that I have in my collection and then these tens are the other ones I have so these this is a glitter and these are the four that I talked to you guys about and this is the navy blue that really looks black if you think about it these are very very dark gray they're not very good so that is why the pigmentation is not there this is kind what's this one yeah, I think it was this one that was looking black, but it it's a, it's kind of a dark, dark, dark purple. So, in my eyes, it's black. You can take it with a grain of salt, but these are the blacks in my collection. And it, it's too many. It's simply too many. I can get away with these because they're not entirely black, but they are very dark glitter shadows. So let me show you where these black shadows come from. The first one is from my Morphe palette. This is the 35K palette and this is what it looks like. And yes, this is black. It's actually pretty good. Mm, I don't know which is which um, other than the last five down here. But I do remember when I swatched this one, it was surprisingly good. So that, that's, that's awesome, right? I have one in my Zodiac palette from BH Cosmetics. Of course I have. And this one is amazing. It is so pigmented and black. So that is... Wow, it's black. Wow, it's bad. But it is one from Aries. This one right here. That is really, really nice as well. Another nice one is from MDK. It is the Gwen Stefani eyeshadow palette. That is a collab. And this is the one right there. I know which this, which uh, swatch this is because this was the first one that I swatched. And that is this one here in the corner. Then I have the Balm New Tooth palette. This one. And it is serious. This one up here in the corner. I, I don't think this was amazing, but it was not the bad, a bad one either. Oh, this one is called Blackout. Of course, that kind of self-explanatory. I have one from my Manny palette, his brand Luna Beauty. And I have the Lysa Drag palette. This was the first palette that he came out with 
for Luna Beauty and I was swatching that one which is called Shady. Perfect fit. And I do believe that was one of the good ones as well. This one was not that good and it has some mini, mini tiny flecks of glitter in it. It is the W7 Eye Cushion Starlight Palette. This is like a cream to powder and it is this one right there. It looks kind of blue but it is black. And um, yeah, that is the one right there. So it might be a little bit more blue but that is the one. W7 in the Buff Palette. Not very good, but it is looking like this, and it is that one right there. Yeah, it was one of the bad ones. I think the last four is one of the bad ones. Those seven, not very good to make blacks, but they are there, and uh, that's not very good. Did this have a name? Onyx. It was the shade Onyx for this palette. Then we have the W7 Romance palette, and it is called Black Book. Ooh. This one right there. And then we have the W7 Spaced Out palette. This was the black with the glitter in it. And this is called Black Hole. Or maybe it's just on the top. I don't know. This one right there. You can see where my finger were and then in corners there are glitter. So maybe it's just an overspray. I don't know. I haven't used it. Other than swatching it here and there. But that is the one. It's black. It's there. I'm sad. But it's just reality that I don't need any more blacks in my collection. W7 Seduced palette. Of course it has one as well. It is called Fishnets right there so i guess we can take it from the top or the bottom up maybe yeah we have the balm jovi uh, workstar palette from the balm and the one that was navy is called the stroke that one right there it looks really black but it's a dark navy <clears throat> and that was the last shade down here the four shades that have a that have a black base is from the BH Cosmetic Color Festival palette. Center Stage, Rave, VIP, and Rage. These four right here. And on my arm, it's these four right here. The glitter comes from this W7 Pressed to Impressed Glitter palette. And it is that one right there. It's actually pretty nice and really beautiful. Yeah, then we come to the not so pigmented up here. We have the W7, the Naughty 9, Midsummer Nights. It is that one right there. It's not entirely black, but I'm going to treat it like a black if I want to pan this palette. So that is the one right there. And it has some glitter or shimmer to it. It is that one right there. It's not very black, but it's dark. Neil Shore Eye Symphony 3 palette. That is the shade right there. I think it's more purple, but it's really dark. So again, I think I'm going to treat it like a black. That one right there. Then we have the W7 Night on the Tour palette. Ooh. It is this one right here. And I swatched that one right here in the center. I know that it's not black, but it's really dark gray and i think yeah that is the shade that one right there and the last shade is from my mdk vice 4 palette and it is called dead beat let me show, see if i can show you without blinding you that one right there that is kind of a dark dark gray with some shimmers in it and it is that one right there so these three are technically, 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 technically not black, but they're really, really dark. And if I'm going to use them, I'm going to treat them like a black or a really, really dark color to do smoky eyes with. So that is everything with this video. This is definitely too many blacks. So this will take a while to go through and maybe not... Um, something that I can go through because I don't really use them other than a liner uh, 
and once in a while I do a black smoky eye. That's not something I'm gravitating towards and want to do every day. So this is going to be a struggle for sure. So this is the colors yet again. They're really, really stunning, these four right here in the glitter. This is definitely too many. Oh my god. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please check out Paula if you haven't already. Did I say that at the beginning? I hope I did. Check her out. You will love her. I love her so much off YouTube and Instagram with chatting and so on. She's amazing. You will love her channel if you love mine. Um, yeah, you will simply just... I love her kind soul. So please check out if you haven't already. And if you are new here, please subscribe down below. I do I do a lot of project planning, shopping out stash. I need that, definitely. Project plans, empties, palo bingos, whatever. I do so many things that I just... I have a hard time keeping track of what I do. If you have something that you want me to do, please let me know down in the comments. And yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video and until my next one, please take care.